One thing that sucks about the Nintendo Switch is the lack of sports games on the system. I enjoy playing sports games from time to time, and it's really disheartening to see not a lot of sports titles and franchises come to the Nintendo Switch. Of course, we have my beloved NBA 2K series, which thankfully is on the platform. You also have the FIFA series if you're a soccer fan, but other than that, it's pretty slim pickings when it comes to sports titles. If you like baseball games, you're stuck with RBI Baseball, which admittedly just isn't that good. Do you like hockey? Well, that's too bad. Take your ass to the NES Online classic section and play ice hockey because that's all you get and up until now if you wanted to play a football game you were also stuck with the nes online stuff with tech mobile which is a fantastic game but still it's good to have variety when it comes to these things well mutant football league released earlier this year on the playstation 4 xbox and steam and was a really enjoyable game i actually reviewed it for the ps4 and had a really good time with it well one of the games i was looking forward to in the month of october was mutant league football dynasty edition and now it is out on the Nintendo Switch. This game just came out. I actually got a review copy of this game sent over to me. So thank you guys for sending over that review copy. But Mutant Football League, is this a game that should be on your radar if you're a fan of football games and arcade style sports games in general? Sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Hey, RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. So the first thing to know about Mutant Football League is this is sort of a spiritual successor to the Mutant League football game that came out on the Sega Genesis. Now, of course, there was Mutant League Football and Mutant League Hockey. They were really fun games, really well-respected games, and just sort of over-the-top sports-like experiences. We, of course, have seen things throughout the years like NFL Blitz and things like that, but the arcade sports stuff has definitely dwindled down a bit, and Mutant Football League looks to sort of resurrect that. And the Dynasty Edition is a welcome addition to the Nintendo Switch library my opinion. So when you start up the game, there's basically a bunch of different game modes. The main one you'll probably jump into first, though, is exhibition mode to sort of get your bearings and sort of see how the game works. And honestly, the gameplay in the game is pretty fun. It's definitely very over the top and very violent. So you pick your team and then you're thrust into a game of football. And while the football in the game is acceptable, you know, it's definitely sort of rooted in realism when you look at things like different plays and stuff like that. It's definitely a more arcadey like experience than your traditional football game is. After a few downs playing the game in exhibition mode, you quickly start to realize that there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. So like I said, aside from the standard football stuff that's going on, there's also things happening on the field, such as traps and things like that. Sometimes there's mines, sometimes there's lightning explosions that come down, sometimes there's even sandworms that will eat your players. And as you play the game, your players are constantly getting injured and sometimes even dying. And you have a limited amount of players that you can use, so you want to keep their health and things up to snuff. There's also dirty plays that you can use both on offense and defense that will give you a distinct advantage over the competition. Things like you can make your uh, running back wield a shotgun and start blowing through people, or you can make it so that you can't be tackled. So it really adds sort of a layer of fun and a bit of franticness to the gameplay. And honestly, I really like the gameplay in this game. It's definitely very lighthearted. It's definitely very fast paced and there's a lot of action elements going on. And I like the amount of things that happen on field that really impact the game because while it is a fantasy style game, some of the players are rooted in reality. So Different players have different stats and different abilities and things like that. So they're sort of based on realistic teams and realistic players as far as marquee players are concerned. And you'll see them with funny names throughout the game. So you could sort of feel familiar if you know a team that you're picking as far as, you know, who their offensive weapons and defensive weapons are. So it adds a good layer of strategy to the game. But it's definitely a game that can be enjoyed by anyone, I feel, because you don't really have to know, you know, specific football things and things like that, as long as you have a basic understanding standing in the game, you'll probably have a good time with the game. Now, as far as game modes are concerned, one of the big new additions to the season or to this version of the game is the dynasty mode. And the dynasty mode admittedly is pretty cool. You basically pick your team and everyone's stats absolutely suck. You're given a lump sum of money and you have three years to basically build this team into a dynasty and win the championship game. So what you do is you basically play different games and your players earn XP as you are playing through the games, doing things like completing passes, getting runs, touchdowns 
touchdowns, sacking the quarterback. We'll all give these players XP. You can also upgrade with the money system in the game as well. You could trade for different players. You can get free agents. You can customize your playbook. It's pretty robust, honestly, and it's a nice welcome addition to the game because it sort of fleshes everything out. Besides those game modes, you have things like season mode and playoff mode where you can just do that. There's also an online mode, which unfortunately I was unable to check out because not a lot of people are playing this game as it did just come out, but I will update that in the comment section down below if I have any problems with the game. As far as the graphics are concerned of the game, I think it looks pretty nice. Everything looks pretty crisp, and the fields themselves look all unique. You know, a lot of the fields have sort of different fields to them based on the different teams that you pick, and I like that about that. You can see animations in the crowd as well, and of course the character models are all very nice as you see them being dismembered on the field by different things going on on the field. The audio in the game is pretty good as well, but it's definitely very adult orientated. They got the original guy from NBA Jam to do some of the commentary in the game, and there's sort of three different people that provide commentary while you're playing the game. Some of the lines get a bit repeated, and some of them are very adult and lowbrow sort of things. There's a lot of like poop jokes and fart jokes and F-bombs and stuff like that. So if you have younger kids around you playing the game, you might want to, you know, sort of reel back on that. You can actually adjust both the violence and the commentary in the game to be more PG based if that's what you're sort of into. I laughed a few times, I cringed a few times at the commentary, but overall it's pretty decent. Now, as far as downsides go with the game, I have a few minor complaints that I think are worth talking about. The first thing is a lack of an instant replay feature. I think I complained about this when I reviewed the PS4 version of the game, but it seems like they would have put this in the Dynasty edition of the game since this is supposed to be the best version of the game with new added features such as Dynasty mode and new added teams. But there's no instant replay feature, so if you don't capture the mayhem on the field when you're playing the game, you can't go back and watch it. And that's honestly a bit disappointing in my opinion because the there's a lot of stuff that happens on the field, a lot of players like getting dismembered and stuff, and I want to go back and be able to see that again, and the lack of an instant replay sort of gets rid of that ability, so unless you're capturing gameplay footage like I was for the game, you're not going to be able to see all these crazy moments once again. Another thing I notice is that sometimes when something big would happen on the field, that there would be a small hitch in the game. I don't know if that's by design or if that's just, you know, a glitch in the game or whatever, but it wasn't very frequent. I noticed it one or two times. It was kind of annoying to be honest with you, but it wasn't that prevalent in the game, but it is something I wanted to mention because it is something worth noting. But overall, Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition is a really solid game. If you're a fan of arcade style sports games, I think you're really going to enjoy this game. It definitely has an adult feel to it. It's definitely very over the top. It's very violent, but I feel like with the different game modes, with things like Dynasty mode, Season mode, and online play, there's definitely enough content here to keep everyone pretty satisfied if you're a fan of these style of games. The most impressive thing about the game, though, is it's only 30 bucks, and that's with a physical release as well. So it's a very affordable game to get if you're a Nintendo Switch owner who's just looking for some arcade-like experiences in an arcade-like sports game. The positives definitely outweigh the negatives. I enjoyed the game on the PS4, and I enjoy the game once again on the Nintendo Switch. So if you're a fan of these styles of games, I definitely recommend you pick it up. And so let me know in the comments section down below what you think of Mutant Football League. If this is a game that's on your radar, if this is a game that you plan on picking up, or if you played it on other systems and are satisfied with it. And as always, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.